Put a leech in a narrow tube and place it to arm. It proceeds to draw blood like this. What is happening at the head of the leech? Today, let's learn about leeches. This leech species is used for medical purposes. Leech blood sucking promotes blood circulation and inhibits inflammation. As a result, leeches have been used for the treatment of various diseases for a very long time. However, it is essential not to use just any leech species for medical purposes. Wild leeches carry the risk of being infected with bacteria or parasites, so for treatment, only well-maintained medical leeches should be used. The leeches we have prepared today are a species approved by the FDA for medical purposes. They have a body coloration that combines deep green and brown hues. In this video, I personally experience blood sucking from a leech and then find out their characteristics. First, what exactly are leeches? Leeches are often mistaken for creatures similar to planarians or slugs, but surprisingly, they are more similar to earthworms. If you look closely at their bodies, you'll notice that they are divided into ring-like segments. This is a feature of creatures belonging to the phylum Annelida. Earthworms, marine worms, and leeches all fall under the category of annelids. What distinguishes leeches from other annelids is that they have suckers on the head and tail ends. Therefore, when observing them, you can see that they adhere to surfaces with their two suckers. The large, round sucker at the posterior end is the leech's tail portion, while the narrow end on the opposite side is the head portion. Furthermore, they are good swimmers. By extending their posterior sucker, they use it like a fin to propel themselves through the water. Surprisingly, these leeches can survive not only underwater but also on land. Because leeches perform skin breathing, they can breathe on land by secreting mucus to keep their skin moist. On land, it moves by attaching and detaching the front and back suckers one by one. Moreover, if you take a closer look at the head, you can see a Y-shaped pattern. This part is the jaw. When you magnify it under a microscope, you can observe three jaws inside the mouth. Each of these jaws has around a hundred tiny teeth. So, the leech first attaches itself to the host's body with its sucker. And then, it punctures the host's skin and secures itself to engage in blood sucking. As a result, when they feed, they leave Y-shaped wounds on their victims. Now, let's observe how the leech feeds. After placing it in this narrow tube, when we place it to arm, the feeding process begins. Honestly, it can be quite unsettling. There are times when they don't bite well. As for my arm, they just go for it directly. The ones used for medical purposes are usually starved for over six months. Right now, it's creating wounds with its jaws to suck the blood. Oh, wow, it's more painful than I expected. Once the leech has firmly attached itself, it starts to feed steadily with both suckers in place. When using a medical leech, it's generally advisable not to forcibly detach it once it begins feeding because they firmly secure their jaws while sucking blood. Forcibly detaching them can sometimes result in their bodies tearing apart, or it may lead to the reversal of their digestive contents entering our bodies. Since the leech's stomach contains bacteria that aid in digestion, there is a risk of infection. Therefore, when using medical leeches, it's advisable to wait patiently until they have drawn a sufficient amount of blood and detach themselves naturally. Leeches can sometimes fall asleep while feeding, but in general, they tend to detach themselves after about 30 minutes to one hour of blood sucking. One hour later, you can see that their bodies have significantly enlarged compared to before. Leeches have the remarkable ability to consume more than 10 times their body weight in blood. Once they have successfully fed, they store the blood in a pouch-like internal organ called the cica, allowing them to survive for nearly a year without consuming anything else. Once they have finished feeding adequately, they detach themselves. They become larger than before. However, the bleeding from the bite site doesn't seem to stop. In fact, it can continue for up to the next day. This is because the leech's saliva contains hirudin, which prevents the clotting of blood. It's essential for them that the blood doesn't clot while they feed for an extended period. The fluid you see near their bodies is their saliva. In addition to hirudin, 
Their saliva contains several other proteins that aid in blood circulation. Therefore, medical leeches are used to treat areas where the body has been amputated and where there are problems with blood flow. Is it impressive? Sometimes, it is used for the treatment of minor symptoms such as acne or muscle pain. However, it should be used cautiously because it can leave deeper scars and carries the risk of infection. And finally, a medical leech that has been used for bloodletting should not be reused due to the risk of infection. Therefore, once a leech has been used for bloodletting, it should be subjected to alcohol treatment and disposed of as medical waste. I will upload the leech dissection in the next video. If you are curious about the leech dissection, please watch the next video as well. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing.